Hey YouTube, this is Kairu Sama. I went to the uh, Crimson Crisis sneak preview. Since um, my team's main locals um, is kind of like renovating right now and trying to find a new place, we had to go like hours drive away to a different hobby store, but it was worth it. Um, before I get to the cards um, that I got at the preview, <clears throat> like at the uh, hobby store, there was a map that like I bought and I just couldn't refuse because it was only 20 bucks they sold to me on sale so I bought it and it's a like Dark Magician Girl map can't really tell but it has like Karibo and stuff <clears throat> so yeah I got that <clears throat> now to get to the cards um, let's start off with the promo which everyone knows about Colossal Fighter Assault Mode sucks but whatever it's promo now, in terms of the uh, packs, I didn't get a single hollow out of any of them, but I got a lot of really good rares, um, and my friend got like some pretty good hollows, so I traded them. Um, there was one that he got that I really needed, and I traded like a whole bunch of my rares that he wanted really bad for decks that he's going to build, plus I threw in... A Lord Poison, which is like a really hard common to get. So he got that first plant deck. Um, so I traded all that for a uh, Hyper Psychic Blaster, just because it's good. And yeah, it's just really cool, and I like it because it's the first level 9 synchro. And yeah. Um, also, they had a Duelist Pack Yusei out, and they were only like 2 bucks a pack. So I bought like three of those, and then I pulled two hollows out of the three packs. Uh, this one is limiter overload. It's stupid, but it's still a hollow from a duelist pack, so that's pretty good. And then this one's okay, but it's still, like, none of the, not many of the hollows are pretty good. Like, only the ultras and maybe the super stars are the good ones, but uh, Fortress Warrior, whatever, it's okay card. It's like second best super rare, I, I would say. Next, um... I did some trades. Um, first traded I um, traded for a uh, ultimate rare first edition diamond dude just because it's really cool looking and I've wanted one for a long time now. So I got one. Next, um, probably one of the bigger trades. Um, since I already have a light sworn deck, I don't really need to like work hard to get that anymore now since I've worked on it for a long time and it's been complete for the last two formats. So that's all set and ready to go for tournaments and such, but um, I'm thinking of building like a Monarch deck, like Perfect Circle maybe, since that's gonna be like, that's pretty popular now. So I traded for my second Destiny draw. No, so I got two, so that's good. Um, and here's the funny part. Um, on a lot of my um, trades I've done, I've been trying to get this card right here, Overdrive Teleporter. I didn't trade for this today, but it's a good thing I got a lot of these. I have, I had five, um, two are decked, but um, it's a good thing I got these cards because of um, the limiting of Emergency Teleport. A lot of people are thinking of using this, siding it in in Monarch decks, because like Soul Exchange, bring this guy out, and then Synchro Level 3s, just because they can Synchro Summon easy with them. So, like, I had three of these in my binder for trade, so I traded two of them off for cards that I just, like, I'm, I'm really happy about. Well, I traded one off for a super rare Destiny Hero Malicious. Even though it lowered in value, it's still good, because it's going to be used in Perfect Circle. And it's just a really good card overall, and it might go back up one day, who knows. And then I traded another one off for a Goyo Guardian Ultra. Just because these are, um, even though it's limited, it's still a good level 6, and it's still the best level 6 that we have in the TCG. Um, and it's good trade bait. Still, like, I know a lot of people that still want this card, and they can't get it just because it's pretty hard to pull, but... Yeah, so that's pretty much the sneak preview. Um, in terms of um, updates, I'm going to uh, show a new format, uh, Lightsworn slash Twilight deck. Um, 
And then eventually, as soon as I, um, get all the stuff, I'm gonna show my Perfect Circle Monarch deck that I'm gonna be working on. Um, it's not gonna be the same as all the other Perfect Circle Monarchs. I'm gonna call it Chaos Monarchs, that's just the term. And it's gonna have a little more, like, blend of light monsters, too. So, we'll see how that goes. We'll... Alright, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out.